Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Roblox accessory related video. In today's video, we're mostly talking about Roblox leaks and stuff like that. So yeah, we've got some interesting stuff to take a look at. But the first news for today's video is actually sad news because it turns out Roblox is trying to patch or stop leaks from happening. Now, to be honest, I was like kind of surprised to hear this because I didn't think that was possible. I thought once like an asset, like a, you know, an image or a mesh was uploaded onto the website. I thought because there's so many Discord bots and things like like that. There was just always ways for people to find them. But it turns out Roblox is working on an asset privacy feature. As you can see here from Bloxy News, starting today, Roblox will offer early access to asset privacy for meshes, mesh parts, images, decals, models, packages for a limited number of creators. To participate in the beta, fill out the form and um, yeah, there's more information on that uh, link right there. So yeah, I don't really know how to feel about this. I mean, this is pretty good and also bad at the same time. Now, it's bad because these leaks bring up like a lot of hype. I'm sure you guys remember when like the classic and the hunt was starting because of the leaks. That's why the hype was so good and that's why the events were so popular. But then again there's another way to look at this you know. Leaks can be annoying especially for creators. I never really cared if like official Roblox stuff gets leaked. Of course the official stuff is owned by Roblox themselves so if they didn't want it leaked in the first place they should have done a better job of protecting it you know. If official Roblox event items get leaked early like they normally do I don't think anybody would really mind about that. With individual creators, I do feel a bit guilty sometimes because if they like put a lot of work into something and then they want to do like a big reveal and a surprise when their event or item comes out or whatever, when they get leaked early, it can be a shame. I remember when my Roblox gift boxes were getting leaked. I guess it was kind of good because it did boost up the sales a bit, but at the same time, I was like, you know, I kind of want it to be a surprise for everyone, but whatever, I guess. It didn't bother me too much. With the official Roblox events though, yeah, we don't care about Roblox. Okay, I'm just kidding. Here's the thing about this asset leaks prevention update. Apparently, it costs 30,000 Robux, so roughly $300. So that is pretty insane. Of course, Roblox has got to find a way to squeeze more money out of the creators. Yeah, when I saw this, I was like, that's kind of disrespectful. So they're pretty much saying, oh, your stuff's going to get leaked unless you pay like 300 quid. Like, what the heck is that? Well, it turns out RTC got community noted, which is kind of funny. But then again, it's just important context. You know, what they said wasn't wrong. So the reason why it costs so much is apparently because a Roblox staff has to do this manually. Roblox did say it'd be free in 2025, I guess, when they get like bots to do it or whatever. But yeah, that's interesting. So if you're making a big Roblox event and you want your assets protected and not leaked straight away, then yeah, you can pay this if you want to, even though I guess it doesn't really matter so much. So yeah, potentially guys, by 2025, we could be looking at the end of Roblox leaks. But then again, Roblox's platform kind of sucks. So I guess people will find a way around this. I also just saw this news while I was editing the video. So this guy, Rockerite, however you say his name, I don't know. This guy added on some extra information. He said UGC creators who sign up for this will no longer be able to upload UGC items. That just seems really weird. So yeah, what the heck? So if you sign up for the privacy update to protect meshes and decals and models and things, and also packages, that means you lose your UGC access? Is that true? If that's true, that's that's terrible. Yeah, I don't know about that. That sounds a bit weird. In other news though, I hope you guys saw my uh, free ad accessories video where I spoke about the items and left some links down below so you guys could go and take them. Well, it turns out more items were leaked. Um, shout out to Lucas here. So he took a uh, deeper look into the account and it turns out there's loads of stuff. He said it's an ads palooza. Yeah, like the ticks palooza um, back in uh, bloody hell nearly 10 years ago now. But you can see here you've got like the uh, art picture frame with the uh, square ad on there. You've got the little uh, signpost thing. You've got the Roblox history, but Roblox history of ads. These three, I really like. Uh, this one, the shades. I have to admit, I really like the idea, but yeah, this is a bit of an L. I just, yeah, they shouldn't have made it like that. If they made the rectangle a bit longer and had like your ad here on like one corner and then like like the uh, dimensions on the other corner, that could have been some like cool clockwork thing. Yeah, I feel like with this one, they messed it up a bit, but I'm really liking the classic theming. That's one positive. You can also try them in uh, Lucas's game. And I think there's a few other leaks in there, like the Domino Crown and stuff. So yeah, I'll link this down below if you want to check them out for yourself. They're not bad, honestly. They look kind of cool. Just the shades could have been a bit better if I'm being honest. I just want to say I don't know when these are coming out. I don't know if they're scrapped items. That could also be the case. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see you guys. Next up, oh yeah, I should have spoke about this in my last video actually and then I just forgot. It turns out there was a new classic item which got uploaded. Now when I saw this I thought, oh the classic part 2 2017 edition because obviously we had those leaks from uh, a few weeks ago with the game of like the uh, Roblox 2017 
logo tokens in and stuff and the helper bot posters and whatever. I thought maybe this could be a back accessory from the upcoming event because I'm just looking at it now and um, yeah, it's like the old Roblox Studio splash screen thing. You know, when you opened it up for the first time and it had the blueprints and the tools and stuff, that's what it's from. But nope, it turns out it's actually a developer item. So if you were the person which is building the classic event, helped make the models and scripting or whatever, well, you actually got this back accessory for free. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a special effect, but it is a very unique item. And yeah, I do like the style of it. So if you got this, got the golden happy home badge on there. It's actually kind of cool. We had some more random uh, accessory leaks as well. These ones, I'm guessing gift cards. So there's an 8-bit Robux bag and there's also a haunted tree. I would assume both bonus items. This one's probably the main one and it has some like Robux effect. And then this one's probably like some tree back accessory thing, maybe with a ghost effect or maybe just a normal item. I don't know. It's okay. Nothing that cool, but they're all right. And just before we finish today's video, there was a little bit more news. So it turns out some Roblox logo assets got leaked. Now, these were uploaded by a guy called Who's Trade, which is like a famous UGC creator, which does sometimes make official stuff because this guy's like good at making like hats and things. Now, the reason why these are so exciting is because you're not normally allowed to make accessories with the Roblox logo. And obviously you get like a DMCA strike from Roblox themselves for infringing the IP, which is just crazy. But yeah, because this guy has been making stuff with the official Roblox logo on. It's got us thinking, this could be like RDC items, Innovation Awards items, maybe. There's quite a few of them as well. There's like a backpack as well, some headphones. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I'm thinking Innovation Awards, to be honest. We will have to wait and see, but they actually look really good. Especially these two hats, the bucket hat. That one's really cool as well. There we go. That's all of the leaks for now. So um, yeah, see you guys.